Okay, back on this zenith quickly. I managed to pick up a this is a gold star from about 1993. The set works. Trouble is, trouble is, I'm looking for a CRT donor. And the trouble with these is, again, it uses that small neck color CRT there. So I was going to try to uh, finagle something, but I'm going to study this a little first. And uh, in the meantime, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I think we'll be tapping into the resources of this donor, a uh, MGA Mitsubishi. That's just that's just dirt. This is a CS 1345R. Okay. The um, reason I chose this one, December 87, is the date on it. It has a birthday. Um, it has the larger neck CRT. And it is a 13 inch, so this can be a donor for the Zenith. I think I'm going to put them back to back and transfer the yoke from each. And uh, let's see how we do. We'll take this set in and see if it powers up and what it does. Okay, this thing's equilibrated. It's been here long enough. Let's see if it if it runs. It sounds it. Most of these that get thrown away nowadays work fine. They're just outdated. Not in style. Very good color on this. Okay, so what we'll do is grayscale. We'll um Put this tube on the zenith, or put the zenith tube on this, I haven't decided yet. So basically, side by side, here's our Mitsubishi, here's our zenith. The zenith did make their own tube, I did look, I found the decal. And the number varies, let me get some folksy. The number varies a little bit from what's on the SAMs and whatnot, but uh, A33. ACB00X and it's an 1101 so that's Zenith um, made in USA so even though it has a Sanyo yoke on it there um, even the magnet setup is different the purity and convergence is way up on the neck on this one and it's way back on the neck on this one and of course the socket is different I could, I could wire it up but um I'm going to get the SAMs on this and just take a look at it. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to pull this panel off, this little uh, fish paper here to get behind. I want to check the voltages on there. Basically, what some of you have said, this is the luminance and the chroma IC, and it has a variant of O-01. And someone said, uh, I don't know if that's good or not. It also says E-01 in there. But uh, basically it comes from here, uh, gets amplified by the driver transistors, and then the outputs are right there. And this ceramic uh, network here is cracked. I'm going to touch up the solder. I don't think it's enough to make it inoperative, but hey, you never know. They don't look good. There's a few cracked. Not totally cracked, but uh, not great, just the same. So check the voltages. Check the voltages. Maybe the waveforms. Let's see what we get. Again, what we're going to check are these three here. Actually, I'm concerned with the blue, which is the middle one, 177 on pin 11. And that comes right from that chrome, chrominance, comes right from that chip. The amplified, a couple amplification stages, and, and right to the tube. Okay, so here we are back on the Zenith. So I pulled the chassis back just enough so I can get to the chroma IC, and I did solder the uh, those, that little ceramic network there and uh, we're still green and I can turn the color up yeah it's got flesh tones but it's I'm still saying it's the tube tuner's a little dirty there I know okay any event we're gonna check some voltages on that tube I've gone ahead and colored them there there's our blue red and green cathodes 
Okay, so here we are on our red. I get 183. I'll go over here to our green. 182. And our blue. A little low, 160. Lower than all the rest. Isn't that something? Uh, the resistors test okay leading up to it. Now I know it says 175, 77, 73. But uh, these 1000K are okay. It's actually the green that's a little high. Like 1010, but the rest are like 950, 970, the other two. Um... So our blues are, I mean, it's in, well, I don't know. Let's check, just keep going back. Let's check these transistors across each of these. See how they do. Output and driver, output, driver, output, driver. Collector of my blue output is 162. Uh, I'm not going to do this live. I'll move it over to the uh, red. Collector of our red is... About 180. And the collector of our green I've grabbed it underneath is 180. So they're all about 180. It's about 10 volts less. I don't know uh, what's causing that or if it's just the adjustment of the tube or what's going on here. Hmm. Just keep looking. Again, I think it's the tube. I'd like to substitute another tube. All the voltages, they're a little different, but I don't think that's going to cause that raster to be so poor like that. Okay. Now I'll go back to the driver, see what we have. Compare the drivers. All the bases feed off the same resistor, this 6.8K, and it reads about 6.8K, and uh, we got 18 volts there. If all the bases run here, it says at 15. So let's go back a little further. Let's go to the um, go to the emitter of each. I can't read these blurry drawings, but 18.5 or so. Okay, the emitter of our blue says I think 18.8 or so. It's 17.9. That's okay. Oh, uh, let's stick to the blue here. Let's go. Let's go to this Q two five eight eight. Okay, just above the controls, it's those three little signal transistors, and they go E B C front to back. So um, we'll just go across one of them, and they're on this side right there. Try and do this one-handed. Okay. Turn our set on. gonna go okay E your 10.3 11 17. 10, 11, 17. Let's go to the next transistor. 10, 10.7, uh, call it 11, 18, 17, 18. So, again, I'm it's a suspect one. I'm saying this circuit seems to be working. Um, I could get the scope out and take a look at some of these waveforms next, I suppose, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Give you a little shot of the raster here, our, our green. 
That's like this tube is just shot. I'm, I, I'd love to try another tube on this set and clean the tuner here. It doesn't look as green in the camera, but I'm telling you, it's all green. Okay, so let's try something. We're back on with that green picture. And the voltages seem okay. I've gone with some highlighters and highlighted where they come out of the chip here. Pins 19, 20, 21 respectively. And then they go right to the driver. Uh, on the other page. They go to the driver of the other uh, of each transistor or whatnot. Where am I? Okay, over here. Continues on over here. Red, blue, and green. Red is one, blue is two, green is three. So what I propose to do is someone suggested the IC chroma. People are hinting that that could be the problem. I could get the scope out and look at the signals on each with the color bar generator. I just don't want to get that in it right now but I am gonna do this I've lifted the two legs off the chip there I just I left the red alone I've got the green and the blue on jump cl clips over to the circuit board I have green and the with the black clip and red with the blue and uh, that's the way it's running now I'm gonna reverse those I'll shut the set off and reverse those and uh, see what happens I'm going to take the I'm going to take the blue and put it on the green. And I'm going to take the green, which is plentiful, and put it on the blue. And let's see what happens. We're still green. So I'm more and more convinced that this tube is just shot. I don't have another one to try. It does not test good. So, anyway. Like I said, eliminates the chip. I need to try another tube or find one. So that's where I'm going to leave this. Alright, well this will sure prove to be a killer cure. I've got this uh, security monitor uh, donor CRT here. Which I didn't get much information on, but I... I was able to read the socket as to this is one of those little nine pin or whatever skinny two four six call it eight and nine pin uh, CRT the smaller style the yoke fits over it sloppily but I have the yoke from the zenith the second anode what I believe wired up properly cathodes heater screen etc I got the heater off the flyback right there um, grounded CRT uh, focus lead I have going in there and uh, your guess is as good as mine if this will show any blue or not I can hardly wait I've checked everything I don't think I'm touching or shorting out anybody um, of course I didn't put the IC back where it's supposed to be I'll have to fix that Okay, I've got a chrome aluminance chip back in. Again, I think I have all the screen grids, cathodes, grounds. Nobody touching anywhere they're not supposed to. And uh, fire it up, see what it does. Okay, here it goes. A little crackle, crackle. Is the screen lit? Hey, it lights. And look at that beautiful raster oh my goodness let's get a signal in here what channel are we on I don't want to I don't want to bump this thing okay other than being backwards I think um, nice raster see the color our color our tint Oh, come on. Blind feeding. Nice blue. Well, I'm just... Let me look at these controls here. Oh, yeah, this there's our blue. So this set runs fine. It is the CRT. 
just goes to show that's eh, blinking because of the camera here but uh, this zenith looks pretty good I hate to turn the yoke as I'm doing this because I could move one wire and people are purple I wonder if I have the uh, if I have the guns on right. Well, anyway, I think that proves our point. I can't reach the controls and do the tint at the same time. I wish the darn commercial would end so I could see something normal. All right, I'll check this in a minute. I think, I, of course, it's on its side, too, which is going to affect the screen, but uh, I have plenty of blue here. So, yeah, I'm going to say the CRT, of course, people are purple. <laughs> people are blue. I don't understand that, but, uh, all right. No, people are blue. One strange set. We should have normal, normal color here. It's hard to make out. That's with no color on. When I put the color on, the people aren't the right color. But again, I'll have to look into why that may be. But um, oh, where is the color here? Color is right there. I can't get the probably because it's on its side. I don't know. I can't seem to get the range of tint I want. But uh, I'll play with it some more. But I think I'm I'm pretty happy with the fact that uh, the raster is not all green. I'll hook it back up the way it was. Make sure we don't have any bent pins on our chroma chip there. But everything seems to be working. Just the chroma. Of course it has no purity. It's on its side, so... Yeah. The camera just doesn't show that very well. It looks really good. The wrong color, but... Proves to me that the set, I think the set's working. Of course, like I said, the purity is going to be off, so. This CRT is a dud. It has nice, nice monochrome raster with the color off. All right, that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching the Zenith. Okay, here we are back. Back with our sick greenish blue color. Well, we'll call that a wrap for the zenith. We'll put the back back on. It's back the way it was. And that's a zenith tube, so that's what we'll be on the lookout for for what it's worth. The set really isn't worth doing much more on, but. I'd like to see it with a nice picture again. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.